Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, today's video, once again, we're in Deep Creek Canyon. I have some really, really interesting geology to show you here. That is quite possibly the very best pillow basalt that I've ever came across. It is flawless in pretty much every single way. Uh, so we're going to walk down the creek and I'm going to show that to you and you're going to think it's amazing. And the geology down here is amazing. Uh, we are, of course, just outside of Spokane, basically Spokane. And, uh, well, you can kind of see a little bit. This is some uh, piece of pillowed basalt that has broken free. Um, you can see the plagonite, but this isn't what I came down here to show you, but you can kind of see a little obsidian crust here. So you can kind of see some of these balls of basalt here. That is some of the pillowing, not the best that you can see down here. Now, the pillow basalt forms when the flow interacts with water and you get this rapid steam production and this rapid cooling. Look at that up there, all of that pillow. Now, some of this has uh, eroded out and you can kind of see the, the husks almost of it. Sarah just found a piece of that. Let's look at that real quick. So you can kind of see in this how we have uh, basaltic glass. And, uh, well, let's get a little closer here and you can see. There you go. You can kind of see some of that right there. Very cool. So right here in this kind of little covey outcrop, that's what I wanted to really show you. You can see in here, the size of this stuff, absolutely some of the most perfect pillows I've ever seen. Now, uh, we've seen, I've shown you before some of the smaller, uh, more, well, grapefruit, softball-sized pillows that you can find. Uh, this stuff is way, way better than that. Now, um, it's not all going to be balls. Typically, you'll get, like, kind of this elongated noodle structure, right? And, uh, well, there's some of that over here. Look at that. <laughs> Very steep up there. Uh, but yeah, here you can see that elongated noodle structure of these pillows when they, uh, well, when the basalt hit hit the water. And I mean, everything down here is, is pillowed. Uh, the brown you see here is not, is not dirt. This is plagonite, okay? I'm going to actually take some of this plagonite. Um, it's uh, kind of like basalt, but it's not basalt. It's uh, just a product of lava hitting water. So I'm not exactly sure how plagnites formed. Um, that's uh, on the to-do list, I guess, but it's just, this stuff is very, very impressive. Hey, right. got a little jar of plagnite here. Let's look at uh, some of this uh, pillow here. You can really see that rind in that one. You definitely have all kinds of different interesting mineralization here. Um, you know, you can see how some of this will become almost uh, like obsidian. It's not real obsidian, just like I guess uh, you could call it like obsidian like. Poorly formed obsidian, all of, the, all of that is acceptable here. Oh, I hope you uh, thought this was enjoyable. I know it's kind of a shorter video, but I will drop a pin down below. Um, if you're in the area, come out. If you like basalt, come down to right here, this little tucked in cove. Check out this amazing, amazing pillow basalt. And uh, well, I'll just say that you might find other things down here. 
Uh, that might be for another video though, but it's, uh, it's extremely cool and you're probably never going to see a better instance of it than this down here. So I thought we could take a minute and just kind of look at how cool this stuff actually is. First off, I got a little jar of the crumbly plagonite out there, which, uh, well, you know, really it's for the future when I have a microscope. Let's look at this. All right. So, you know, crumbly plagonite. Then you have the more, well, firm plagonite. And then you have volcanic glass and then turning into basalt. So... I think it's important to draw the distinction between between volcanic glass and obsidian because they're not the same thing. Well, not really. So, you know, obsidian flows when you think of like Little Glass Butte, Davis Creek, like, you know, uh, obsidian, right? This is a very uh, like high viscosity lava that cools really really fast and that's why you're getting that this is regular basaltic lava and it's only cooling fast because of the contact with water so you're never going to get like that crystal clear obsidian at least not that i know of i mean we're talking about something here that i mean if I'm being completely honest people have not spent much time caring about so, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm alone in this. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, I thought it was interesting. I hope you thought, thought it was interesting as well. And, um, you know, a lot more videos here on the channel just like this. So uh, click, uh, click my name down there and uh, go give the videos a watch. And I hope to uh, earn your subscription if you uh, find it to be enjoyable. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for coming by, everybody. Take care. Thank you so much for watching my entire video. If you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel and you want to support the content even further, you can do so by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. The membership comes with a growing library of exclusive videos and just great other extra content. So I just follow the links down below and I will see you on the next video.